A six-year-old boy came to the emergency department with complaints of swelling around his right eye, which has been acute in onset for the past two days. He has been having fever and he is feeling lethargic. There is no loss of vision. There is no trauma to the eye. On examination, there is a rise in the temperature. There is a right-sided proptosis. Proptosis means bulging of the eyeball. The extracular movements, the eye movements are reduced and he is having pain on the affected eye, which is the right eye. Though he denies any loss of vision, his visual acuity on the right eye is reduced to 612. So what is the diagnosis? You are given these options, conjunctivitis, iritis, retinoblastoma, orbital cellulitis and coronate abrasion. So amongst these five options, which you think is the right answer for this question? The answer could be, the answer is orbital cellulitis. Why? Why orbital cellulitis is the answer for this question? Let's discuss. A pediatric age group, a patient belonging to a pediatric age group presenting to us with fever and lethargy who is sick and he is having this unilateral periocular swelling which is proptose, it's like bulging of the eyeball, who is having pain and reduced visual acuity with restriction of the extracular movements, always suspect orbital cellulitis. The most common cause is going to be an ethmoidal sinusitis where you have an inflammation in the ethmoidal sinus cavities and they can easily spread into the orbital cavity or the orbital socket because of the thin medial wall of the orbit, what we call as lamina papriciae. So this is not just a vision threatening but it is also a life threatening disease because this, this inflammation in the orbit can easily track back to the brain. So we have to treat aggressively with intravenous antibiotics. The close differential for orbital cellulitis is going to be a preceptal cellulitis. Now what happens in orbital cellulitis? You have inflammation in the orbital cavity which is affecting the extracular muscles. That's why the patient will have a restricted extracular movements. And it is going to involve the optic nerve. That's why the patient is going to have a poor vision which can be manifested as relative afferent pupillary defect. And because of this inflammation here, patients could have a red eye. The proptosis or bulging happens because the eyeball is pushed out due to inflammation in the orbit. But what happens in preceptal? You have inflammation which is in front of this orbital septum. So this is called as a preceptal cellulitis primarily involving the lids. So you can see this picture. It is just involving the lids in the scan here. But whereas in orbital cellulitis, you can see you have inflammation preceptal also in the orbit which means that for this patient the preceptal cellulitis could have led to the orbital cellulitis which is very important. So always look for a foci of infection in orbital cellulitis that can be a preceptal cellulitis that can be multiple multiple reasons for that. Now let's understand why this patient is not going to have the other options. It is not conjunctivitis because a conjunctivitis patients will have discharge presenting and there will not be any proptosis, there will not be any loss of vision either. Just discharge redness. In iritis, patients could have a poor vision but there is not going to be any proptosis of the eye. But they can have this distorted pupil, they can have this uh, hypopion or pus in the anterior chamber. Hypopion or pus in the anterior chamber. It is not coronal abrasions. Again, coronal abrasions or any coronal involvement, patients could have redness, they can have poor vision, but they won't have proptosis. After staining, we can see that there is a very good delineation of the coronal abrasions or infiltrate on the cornea in this patient. So it's easily we can rule out these three conditions because all these three conditions will not have proptosis. But what about retinoblastoma? Retinoblastoma, as we all know, it is going to be an intraocular tumor. But please understand, retinoblastoma can mimic like orbital cellulitis. When you have tumor within the eye, that is the retinoblastoma, which is the most common intraocular malignancy in childhood, the tumor inside the eye, which is arising from the retina, filling this vitreous cavity, sometimes the tumor can undergo necrosis. So the necrosis of this intraocular tumor, the inflammation can spread to the orbital cavity, can even spread to the lids which can mimic like this pseudocellulitis picture 
often presenting or mimicking as an orbital cellulitis. Hence, retinoblastoma is a masquerader of orbital cellulitis. An imaging of this will clinch the diagnosis. As you can see in this picture, with the CT image, there is going to be calcification noted here. The calcification is pathognomonic of retinoblastoma. So please understand, orbital cellulitis is something not just vision threatening, but is also life threatening. And retinoblastoma can mimic like orbital cellulitis.